Well, that's game. Ben, that's game. That's two beers you owe me. Come on, how about another one? That young son of mine should have been back by now. Oh, boy, it's gonna take him quite a spell around up all them horses. Well, it doesn't have to take this long, does it? Oh, Ben, quit being an old mother hen. You know little Joe can take care of himself. Here he comes now. Joe, what do you, what do you got that saddle roll around you for? Because I can't sit down. Why not? I got sh shot. Shot? Where? Right in the middle of the Ponderosa. Help, help me down. I'm here. Don't wait. Wait a minute. That's easy. 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 Oh. Easy. Don't mm -hmm. roll. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 no, no. I, uh, who shot you, Joe? I don't, I don't know. Well, what happened? I was, I was running towards this fellow, see? Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Huh? Were you running backwards? No, I wasn't running backwards. A bullet ricocheted off a rock near Willow Creek. Well, just don't stand there, do something. Like what? Like go after him. Go after who? The man that shot me. Well, who was he? I told you I don't know! Joseph, Joseph. Just calm down now. Let's calm go make down. some sense out of this. Come on, I'll sit down over there. Pa, pa I, I told you, I can't, I can't sit down, Pa. I can't sit. Whose hat is this? It's his hat. Whose hat? The man that, the man that shot me's hat. All right, hat. now quiet down, everybody. If a crime has been committed... If a like... crime has been committed! Did you hear that? If a crime has been committed. Now hold everything, Joe. Just give me the facts, will you? Give me the facts. All right, here are the, here are the facts. I'm riding along, Pa. Peacefully. I'm riding along, I ride over a ridge. There I see a man lassoing one of our horses. I get off my horse and I start to go towards him. He shoots at me. I shoot at him, he shoots at me. I think I, think I hit him in the left shoulder. I, I know where he hit me. And I, I shot that hat off his head. <laughs> Seems like you fellas are playing a little game of heads and tails. <laughs> There's a name in here, J. Reichman. Hmm. Does that mean anything to you? Never heard of him. What do he look like, Joe? I don't know. He's too, too far away. Well, I'll do some investigating as soon as I can. As soon as you can? How soon is that? Well, I don't know. I gotta meet Sheriff Coffee in Carson City tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, Joe. Well, look, if you if you're just gonna let murderers get away scot free, maybe we could use a new deputy around here. Now, wait a minute, Joe. Wait a minute. Could you send uh, the other deputy? Well, he's got the measles, Ben. Got the measles. I'm sorry, I can't do anything right now. Well, could you deputize somebody else? Well, like who? Give it a try, Hoss. That's all right, brother. Forget it. Forget it. Let the man who tried to murder your brother, your own brother, your own flesh and blood, let him ride away. Let him get away scot-free. Forget I asked you. I'll swear you in. Do you? I do. You are. I think I'll uh, go in the house and soak, soak my feet.
Howdy. Nice weather we're having, huh? Tolerable. I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Reitman, Jay Reitman. You ever hear of him? Nope. Thanks. Welcome. Hi. Howdy, boys. Can't trust a man Charlie don't like. I reckon this is Charlie, huh? That's Charlie. Well, maybe he just don't know me. Uh, neither do we. Yeah, name's Cartwright. Hoss Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwrights? That's right. Maybe wrong. What you doing on our patch of land? I'm uh, looking for a fellow by the name of Reichman. Well, I can open, fellas. Which Reichman? Just Jay Reichman's all I know. You a friend of his? No, uh, as a matter of fact, I ain't never seen him. I'm, I'm a special deputy. I just want to ask him some questions. Aiming to arrest him? Well, that, that sort of depends. So, uh, you don't know Reichman, huh? No, I ain't got much of a description of him, neither. Well, <laughs> maybe we can uh, help him out, huh, boys? I'd appreciate that. Well, Reichman has got two heads, each one of them meaner than the other one. Got four arms that move like sidewinders and four legs that stomp like mules. Uses a wagon tongue for a toothpick and he can shoot a bumblebee in a behind at 400 yards. Just a ordinary sort of fellow then, huh? Might say that. You've been a big help. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome. Up in the hills, we got a lot of wild hogs. Wild hogs got big noses. Sometimes they put their noses in the wrong place. And when they do, they get bit. I can see that news travels fast around here. Well, especially bad news. Meaning what? Meaning, don't be a hog. 
Hey, we don't allow no dogs around here. He ain't mine. <laughs> I wasn't talking about him. You know, this is really and truly a nice, friendly little town. Yes, sir. I've been here 20 minutes. And in those 20 minutes, I've been snapped at, snipped at, and snarled at. And I got a funny feeling that if I hang around much longer, I'm liable to get shot at. I came into this town looking for a fellow I'd never seen before named Jay Reichman. Know very little about him. One thing, he likes to shoot at fellers. Another thing is he likes to freeload on other people's brood mares. I got another funny feeling. I got a funny feeling I just found him. Put your gun up there on the bar and slide it down. Move. You too, buddy. On the bar. What's your name? Reichman. J. Your name, not your initial. J for Jeb. Yours? <laughs> Judd. Well, looks like I hit the jackpot, don't it, boys? I didn't know your kind came in bunches, but if there's a dozen of you, I'm going to take you back to Virginia City and you're going to stand trial. Virginia City? Oh, that's about 80, 100 miles from here. I haven't been out of town half a mile in a year. Me neither. That's good. You can tell it to the judge. And now, wait a minute. I don't see any sense in that. Judge just told you you hadn't been with Miles at that place. And I told you the same thing. Now, it seems to me that's about the end of it. Besides, nobody got killed, did they? That's right. Nobody did get killed, but how did you know that? Oh, he wasn't telling you. He was just asking. Well, well from now on, I'm going to do the asking. And you boys are going to do the answering. Now, let's get over and see the sheriff. I'm sure you've had occasion to meet him several times. Uh, now, just a minute. You got any proof of what you've been saying? I got all the proof I need, buddy. Now, get moving. <laughs> kind of looks like your percentage is gone. Got a nice, even fight right here. Ain't you fellas a little bit young for all this rough stuff? Yeah, but you see, we're gonna get older and you mightn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you want it? For uh, keeps or for fun? All right. All right. I'm getting just about sick and tired of this town and you. And that goes for you too, Charlie. And all this talk. Now, come on.
want them to no. come. No! pick up that chair and sit down. This is the second time this month this place has been busted up. Now, well, don't we always clean it up for you? Give me a gun. All right, you do get. We're just getting our irons, Ma. Ma'am, I sure would like they to. They won't go far. Well, they're all heated up, there'd just be more trouble. You, uh, you ought to relax some yourself. Now, just cool off. Hey, let me see Fat Joe's gun. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Be a real little man now, huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. You look like a real nice man. What I can see of you. What are you doing picking on those two little boys? Two little boys? Ha! That's a laugh. Meaner than a couple of wild bulls, those two little boys, as you call them. This is a real small town, and they are young, and maybe there isn't too much excitement around here for them. Uh, they work for you? Well, that's a hard question. Sometimes I don't know whether they work for me, I work for them. I guess it's a little bit of both. I'm their mother. Mama, I hate to tell you this, but one of your boys is guilty of attempt horse theft and assault with a deadly weapon. Well, you got, uh, you got positive proof that one of my boys did what you say? No, well, ma'am, I ain't got proof positive, but there's lots of circumstantial evidence. Any horses took? No, ma'am. Any money took? No. Anybody got shot? Yeah. Yeah, somebody got shot. My little brother got shot. That's who got shot. Where's he shot? Well, you shot in the... He was shot where the person meets the saddle. Well, that don't sound too serious to me. Well, how'd you like to get shot in the... Well, ain't your brother all right now? Well, he can't sit down. Well, you know... You look like a real reasonable young man. And on the basis of what you have just told me, mister, you can go shinny up a gum tree. You think I'm gonna turn over one of my boys to you or to anybody else? You are wrong. Mister, your case is a bottle short. Uh, Mel, why don't we let the court decide that? Strange court in a strange town. But the judge scratching the sheriff's back and the sheriff scratching the judge's back. They're both up for election, and the local people are breathing down their necks. Man, would have a fine chance in a court like that. Besides, in my opinion, just ain't much of a crime. My boys are young, and they're feisty, and they're a little bit rougher than most, but they ain't criminals. The meeting's now adjourned. Ma'am, may I just suggest that they, they try to clear themselves? Is your brother a young fella? Yes, sir. He's got lots of time to sit down. Freddy, you seen my gun? Here. Ah, very good. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> I poked into that lady a while ago and knocked off. Trust a man that Charlie don't like. Pretty lively little ruckus over there. Saw most of it from here. 
Didn't go over, though. Can't stand the sight of blood. Chaw? No, thanks. You ought to. I've been chawing since I was seven. Tobacco kills the germs, so as your gums don't rot. Are you in uh, some sort of trouble? Nope. Just doing my job. I'm in town to pick up a fellow by the name of Reitman. Well, you are in trouble. Which one are you after, Jeb or Judd? Well, there's sort of a problem there. I, I don't know which one I'm after. Well, whoever it is you want, whatever was it he did. Well, he tried to steal a horse and he shot a man. Kill him? Nope. Too bad. Could have used the business. You sheriff? Nope. I'm just a special deputy that's sent in the town to pick up Reichman and take him back to stand trial, that's all. You can't figure out which one you want. Is that about it? That's about it. Well, that is a problem, all right, all right. Now, the Reichman boys, they ain't killers. Of course, there ain't a hen house in town they ain't thieved. And <laughs> neighbors all grease their pigs when they see the Reichman boys coming. Maybe they steal just out of plain cussedness. They ain't never thieved a bank or shot anybody or anything important like that. They're just trying to be real outlaws and just can't seem to make it. Yeah. Give them time. You might be right. They're mean enough for anything. <laughs> yeah, but Willie May, she keeps them both of them on a right short reign. <laughs> yeah, quite a woman, Willie May. Yeah. You sure you don't want to chow? Oh, you ought to have a jaw. Hardens up the jaw muscles. Could you tell me where the sheriff's office is at? Well, half the time it's in the jail, and the other half the time it's in the saloon. Now, if he ain't in the jail, he's drunk. If he ain't in the saloon, he's broke. Well, now he ain't in the saloon, so he must be in the jail. It's down the street. Thanks. It won't do you much good, though. Sheriff, he's a real character. He ain't normal like the rest of us folks here. They're putting him in charge of the hoosgaw is like putting the fox in charge of the chickens. <laughs> he likes his liquor, ain't shot his gun in five years except maybe to chase off a few crows, and he's yellowing a dry cornstalk. <laughs> Otherwise, he's a, he's a pretty nice fella. <laughs> you sure you don't want a chaw? No, thanks. <laughs> Have it your own way. Now, you, uh, you need any business, though, you call on me. Uh, I shave them cleaner and keener and bury them deeper and cheaper. Thanks. Welcome. Sheriff? I guess I am. What's on your mind? Well, I... I got sort of a problem. You got a problem? I got sciatica, my wife's got the croup, and I ain't been paid in four months. And you got a problem. <laughs> well, let's have it. Well, I... I've been deputized to come here and pick up a man for questioning. Questioning for what? For horse thieving and... Shooting at a man. Who do you claim shot him? A fellow by the name of Reichman. Just one man named Reichman? That's right. Well, now, that's different. We got two Reichmans here. Which one was it? I, I don't know. He don't know. What do you think of that, Skinny? When you find out, Come back. If I do, will I get a warrant? No. Why not? Until I get paid my wages, I don't do nothing. Well, I reckon that sort of leaves me on my own, don't it? And good luck to you. Oh, uh, if there's any shooting, 
Don't expect me to come a running. No. Don't worry. I won't. And by the way, you get this varmint off my back or Pop goes weasel. Thanks. Welcome. You still in town? Yeah. You know, Freddie, a peculiar thing about this town. You look at it from a distance, and it's as pretty as a wildflower. But you get in close and take a good look at it, and it takes on the appearance of a cactus. It's thorny, sticky, and poisonous. You talk real pretty. Yeah. Freddie, maybe you can talk pretty. I need some information. Sorry, we just plumb ran out of information. Freddie. Where do the Reichman boys hang out? Look, like I said, we're fresh out of information, but we just got in a big supply of advice. You're too nosy for your own. Uh, don't hit me, mister. Don't you hit me. I'm a sick man. Yeah. Yep, you sure are at that. That's using your head, young fella. Too many people using the fists around here. Now, how about a touch? Might ease your temper. No, thanks. It tastes like formaldehyde. Why do you drink it? It's all you've got. You talked to the sheriff? Yep. Was I right? Right as rain. And I guess you'll saddle up and trot on home, huh? No, sir. No, sir. I came here to do a job, and I'm going to do it. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. You know, I still think it was the Reichman stole them bronze handles off that coffin I had sent up here for old Colonel Atchison. Well, they might act a little rough at times, but they're local boys and they're good customers. I wish they was customers of mine. Well, good luck. Maybe them Reichmans will get buggy whipped after all. Well, you can't fish a stream that's dry. I ain't been able to locate them. No line on them, huh? <sighs> nope. This town's full of advice, but... Dang little information. Well, I'll tell you now. You go out that door, you ride south for a mile and a half, turn left at Superstition Fork for a half mile, and you'll see what looks like an overgrown outhouse, standing there mean and nasty behind a stand of wild oaks. There's also a rickety barn filled with stolen saddles and, and probably a rebranded steer, too. Uh, there's no telling what or who you might find out there. Are you sure you won't have a touch just to get you going? No, thanks. Well, uh, if anybody should turn up dead, and I hope it ain't you, uh, I'd appreciate the business. I know. Cheaper and deeper, right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> expect to be a deputy around here, you'd better settle down, boy. Come <laughs> 
that verdict. Quit playing games and cut me down here, you two jackasses. Hey, there. Hey, 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 let me down here. Hey, you two. You better hope your mama's here to protect you when I get down. Get me down! Hold it! I said hold it! Come on! Come on, Ma! Well, what are you hanging around here for? Well, just visiting, ma'am. Just visiting. No, Ma, he was trespassing. We got a right to do whatever. Stop. Now, you have been butting these two little boys around like a billy goat, and you've been making serious charges. Now, let's just quit all this butting around and have a showdown right now. Well, that suits me fine, ma'am. That's fair enough. Oh, come on, Ma. Just let me, let me just hit him once. Shut up. Let him down. <laughs> Welcome. All right, now, you claim that one of these boys did something, and they claim that they, they didn't. Somebody's lying. I stand with my boys. Now, you are on trial here, not them. Well, ma'am, it appears that these little boys of yours are closer than a couple of buckwheats, but one of them... Well, I heard all of that before. Uh, you got any evidence? Yes, ma'am. I sure do. I didn't come all this way without some evidence. Bet on that. This hat. This hat is found at the scene of the crime, Exhibit A, Your Honor. Well, all it is is a hat with a hole in it. Mm-hmm. And with a name in it, J. Reichman. Jeb, you lose a hat? No, ma'am. Judd? No, ma'am. Ma'am, that hat is pretty damaging evidence. Well, somebody could have stole it. Well, when did all this take place? Two days ago, Tuesday. Jeff, where were you on Tuesday? Well, seems to me I was back in the barn all day, uh, soaping up some saddles. Judd? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, I, I think I was in town uh, fighting Roger Jones. Oh, that was Monday I fought right. Well, you better do some remembering. Yeah. Well, I know where I was. I, I was down near the creek chasing some stray sheep. Well, you know that we don't own no sheep. Yeah, but I figure it's about time we did. I mean, well, pickings get pretty lean around here at times, Ma. Ma. Now, this is the third or fourth time that I told you. Maybe we'll starve, but we'll starve honest. I did it for you, Ma. I suppose you shot that man for me, too. No, oh, Ma, I didn't. I... That's Jeb. I had my hat on, too, didn't I, Jeb? Well... Now, son, I want the truth. To be fair, Judd, I... I remember seeing you all right, like like when you come in the barn, all tuckered out and kind of breathing hard and. Yeah, yeah, but that that, that was from no, that was from chasing that sheep, Jeb. Now it was. But, but what I don't remember is. I don't remember. Did you have your hat on? Oh, now, Jim, Jim, please, you got to remember. Now I might have taken my hat off later or something, but I had it when I came back. I had it on. I think hard, son, and I don't want you to lie. Did he have his hat on or not? Well. well uh... I hate to do this to you, Judd, but I have to tell the truth. Ma, I don't think he did. Jeff. Well, take him away. I, uh, 
tried to raise him decent. I, I, uh, I did my best. But I guess when all you got is a piece of scrub ground and no husband. I'm sorry, ma'am, I am. What'll happen to him? Well, ain't nothing gonna happen to him, because he ain't going. You put that gun away. No, Ma. Listen, I didn't try to steal that horse, and I, I didn't gun that man either. Now, Jeff, you stay here and you help Ma, because I'm leaving. Now, you do like I say. If you're not guilty, like you claim, nothing is going to happen to you. But if you run off, I swear to you, you'll never be welcome in our land again. Like he's too young, or like he's too old, I don't know. All right, mister, he's yours. Ma'am, as it turns out, he's not the one I want. What happened to that arm, Jeb? Well, uh, just a scratch, a um, scratch on a tree. It looks like a bullet wound to me. It's a burn. My little brother said he might have winged him in the left arm. Jeb? Well, all right. I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that mare, Ma, I just figured we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't going to let him down. I was going to chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know. And then I was going to bushwhack him. Jeb, do you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lay... Hey, boys! Hey, boys! No, no, let him be! Oh, it's okay. He's gonna take one of my boys away, and I don't even know your name. Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, sir. I'd like one. Thank you. Here, your Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a paw like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a paw. <clears throat> It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper, just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Make your mistakes when you're young enough to fix them. What'll happen to him? Huh? Oh, Ma'am, I don't know what the what the penalty is for shooting a man in the well, where he where his person meets the saddle. <laughs> yeah, they wasn't no horse stolen, and, and the shooting was accidental. My little brother said that. So maybe they won't do nothing more than just find him. Well, I just hope it's a little one. We just spent our last four dollars on books. I. I was hoping that I could teach him how to read. Yeah. 
You know, Hoss, that is the first time that Judd ever whipped Jeb. Well, maybe that's because he knew he was right, ma'am. Son, here's something for you. Hoss to eat on the road. Well, we better get on the way. It's going to be dark before long. You ain't mad at me, are you, Judd? No, Jeb. Hi, Ma. Y'all take good care of her now. We'll be waiting for you, son. I hated to make such a nuisance of myself, Miss Ragman. You've been mighty cooperative. Thanks. Welcome. Oh. Right, you'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Well? How's that? Well, why don't you just take out your gun and shoot at something? Shoot at what? Oh, anything. Like that? But, but I, I put the. Well, I reckon you must have fixed it. Yeah, I did that, Jim. Let me tell you something, boy. I don't wear this gun in a pair of diapers. I check it and I clean it every night. A gun can either be your best friend or your worst enemy, and don't you forget it. You got to learn to respect them, Jim. That's one thing among many you've got yet to learn. Yeah, I know. Boy, there's a whole mess of things I gotta learn. Yeah. You know, nobody in our family ever been in jail before. Like my pa, I, I never shot anybody in my life. See, I shot towards your brother, not at him. I was scared, I guess. Must have been Ricochet got him. Boy, I'm sure glad he ain't hurt bad. Funny thing is, one gets hurt the most is Ma. She always tried so hard to do good with me and Judd. You know, Jeb, that was a dat burn fool thing I just done. Shooting up your hat. The only evidence I got. Can't have much of a case against you without it, can we? Well, I reckon that, but one thing to do, and that's let you go. You get on back to your mall, boy. But I want you to remember this. If you ever do anything to hurt your mall again, boy, I'll come after you personally, and you'll have to answer to me. You remember that. Now get. See you back. Howdy, Paul. Joe. Well, uh, how'd it go? You, you find him? Well, in a way. What do you mean, in a way? Well, I mean, I found him, but he got away. That's what I mean. <laughs> how come? Well, he. He was big, boy, and mean. Whew. Oh, so, I. I just don't think you were cut out to be a lawman. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon I wasn't at that, Paul. But I'll tell you, I learned something. I learned to be grateful. For what? To you, for being such a good Paul. To Joe and me and Adam. Teaching us how to hunt and fish and ride and work and just stuff like that. Just. Everything in general. Just grateful. Anything wrong with that? No. No, there isn't. 
Joe, I, I want you to know how grateful I am to you for what a wonderful job you've done for me. Thanks. He's too young, or like he's too old. I don't know. All right, mister, he's yours. Ma'am, as it turns out, he's not the one I want. What happened to that arm, Jeb? Well, uh, just a scratch. Um, scratched on a tree. That looks like a bullet wound to me. It's a burn. My little brother said he might have winged him in the left arm. Jeb? Well, all right. I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that mare, Ma, I just figured we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't going to let him down. I was going to chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know. And then I was going to bushwhack him. Judd, you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lick... Hey, boys! Hey, boys! Oh, let him be! Oh, it's okay. Are you gonna take one of my boys away and I don't even know your name? Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, sir. I'd like one. Thank you. Here, your Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a paw like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a paw. <clears throat> It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Yeah. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper, just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. Welcome. <laughs> 
All right, now, <clears throat> you claim that one of these boys did something, and they claim that they, they didn't. Somebody's lying. I stand with my boys. Now, you're on trial here, not them. Well, ma'am, it appears that these little boys of yours are closer than a couple of buckwheats, but one of them... Well, I heard all of that before. Uh, you got any evidence? Yes, I sure do. I didn't come all this way without some evidence. Bet on that. This hat. This hat was found at the scene of the crime, Exhibit A, Your Honor. Well, all it is is a hat with a hole in it. Mm-hmm. And with a name in it, J. Reichman. Jeb, you lose a hat? No, ma'am. Chuck? No, ma'am. Ma'am, that hat is pretty damaging evidence. Well, somebody could have stole it. Well, when did all this take place? Two days ago, Tuesday. Jeb, where were you on Tuesday? Well, seems to me I was back in the barn all day. Soaping up some saddles. Judd? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, I, I think I was in town uh, fighting Roger Jones. Oh, that was Monday I fought Rog. Well, you better do some remembering. Yeah. Well, I know where I was. I, I was down near the creek chasing some stray sheep. Well, you know that we don't own no sheep. Yeah, but I figure it was about time we did. Uh, well, pickings get pretty lean around here at times, Ma. Ma. Oh. Now, that's the third or fourth time that I told you. Maybe we'll starve, but we'll starve honest. I did it for you, Ma. I suppose you shot that man for me, too. Oh, Ma, I didn't. I asked Jeb I had my hat on, too, didn't I, Jeb? Well... Now, son, I want the truth. Are you gonna take one of my boys away and I don't even know your name? Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, sir. I'd like one, thank you. Here you Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a Paul like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a Paul. <coughs> It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Yeah. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper, just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Make your mistakes when you're young enough to fix them. What happened to him? Oh, ma'am, I don't know what the what the penalty is for shooting a man in the well, where he where his person meets the saddle. <laughs> yeah, they wasn't no horse stolen, and, and the shooting was accidental. My little brother said that. Maybe they won't do nothing more than just find him. Well, I just hope it's a little one. We just spent our last four dollars on books. I was, I was hoping that I could teach him how to read. Yeah. 
You know, Hoss, that is the first time that Judd ever whipped Jeb. Well, maybe that's because he knew he was right, ma'am. Son, here's something for you and Hoss to eat on the road. Well, we better get on the way. It's gonna be... As it turns out, he's not the one I want. What happened to that arm, Jeb? Well, just a scratch. Um, scratched on a tree. That looks like a bullet wound to me. It's a burn. My little brother said he might have winged him in the left arm. Jeb? Well, all right. I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that Ma, I just figured we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't going to let him down. I was gonna chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know, and then I was gonna bushwhack him. Judd, you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lick. Hey, boys! Hey, boys! Oh, no, let him be! Oh, it's okay. He's you gonna take one of my boys away, and I don't even know your name. <laughs> Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, sir. I'd like one. Thank you. Here, you Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a Paul like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a fall. <clears throat> it is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Make your mistakes when you're young enough to fix them. What happened to him? Well, Ma'am, I don't know what the what the penalty is for shooting a man in the laws and just can't seem to make it. Yeah. Give him time. You might be right. Yeah, mean enough for anything. Yeah, but Willie May, she keeps them both of them on a right short reign. <laughs> yeah, quite a woman, Willie May. Yeah. You sure you don't want a chaw? Oh, you ought to have a chaw. Hardens up the jaw muscles. Could you tell me where the sheriff's office is at? Well, half the time it's in the jail, and the other half the time it's in the saloon. Now, if he ain't in the jail, he's drunk. If he ain't in the saloon, He's broke. Well, now he ain't in the saloon, so he must be in the jail. It's down the street. Thanks. It won't do you much good, though. <laughs> Sheriff, he's a real character. He ain't normal like the rest of us folks here. And putting him in charge of the hoosgow is like putting the fox in charge of the chickens. <laughs> he likes his liquor, ain't shot his gun in five years, except maybe to chase off a few crows, and. He's yellower than a dry cornstalk. <laughs> Otherwise, he's a he's a pretty nice fella. <laughs> you sure you don't want a chaw? No, thanks. <laughs> Have it your own way. Now, you uh, you need any business, though, you call on me. Uh, I shave him cleaner and keener and bury him deeper and cheaper. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs>
Howdy. You, uh... You the sheriff? I guess I am. What's on your mind? Well, I... I got sort of a problem. You got a problem? I got sciatica, my wife's got the croup, and I ain't been paid in four months. And you got a problem. <laughs> well, let's have it. Well, I... I've been deputized to come here and pick up a man for questioning. Questioning for what? For horse thieving and shooting at a man. Who do you claim shot him? A fellow by the name of Reichman. Just one man named Reichman? That's right. Well, now, that's different. We got two Reichmans here. Which one was it? I, I don't know. He don't? I has to come here and pick up a man for questioning. Questioning for what? For horse thieving and shooting at a man. Who do you claim shot him? A fellow by the name of Reichman. Just one man named Reichman? That's right. Well, now, that's different. We got two Reichmans here. Which one was it? I, I don't know. He don't know. What do you think of that, Skinny? When you find out, come back. If I do, will I get a warrant? No. Why not? Until I get paid my wages, I don't do nothing. Well, I reckon that sort of leaves me on my own, don't it? And good luck to you. Oh, uh, if there's any shooting, don't expect me to come a running. No. Don't worry. I won't. And by the way, you get this varmint off my back or Pop goes a weasel. Thanks. Welcome. You still in town? Yeah. You know, Freddie, a peculiar thing about this town, you look at it from a distance, and it's as pretty as a wildflower. But you get in close and take a good look at it, and it takes on the appearance of a cactus. It's thorny, sticky, and poisonous. You talk real pretty. Yeah. Freddie, maybe you can talk pretty. I need some information. Sorry, we just plumb ran out of information. Freddie, where do the Reichman boys hang out? Look, like I said, we're fresh out of information, but we just got in a big supply of advice. You're too nosy for your own. Uh, don't hit me, mister. Don't you hit me. I'm a sick man. Yeah. Yep, we sure are at that. That's using your head, young fella. Too many people using their fists around here. Now, how about a touch? Might ease your temper. No, thanks. Well, it tastes like formaldehyde. Why do you drink it? It's all you've got. You talk to the sheriff? Yep. Was I right? Right as rain. And I guess you'll... Forget it. Forget it. Let the man who tried to murder your brother, your own brother, your own flesh and blood, let him ride away. Let him get away scot-free. Forget I asked you. I'll swear you in. Do you? I do. You are. I think I'll, uh, go in the house and soak, soak my feet.
Howdy. Nice weather we're having, huh? Tolerable. I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Reitman, Jay Reitman. You ever hear of him? Nope. Thanks. Welcome. Maybe a, a lot of the blame's with me. I might have treated him like he's too young or like he's too old. I don't know. All right, mister, he's yours. Ma'am, as it turns out, he's not the one I want. What happened to that arm, Jeb? Well, just a scratch. Um, scratched on a tree. It's like a bullet wound to me. It's a burn. My little brother said he might have winged him in the left arm. Jeb? Well, all right. I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that Miramal, I just figured we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't going to let him down. I was going to chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know. And then I was going to bushwhack him. Don't you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lay... Hey. Boys! Hey, boys! Oh, no, let him be! Oh, it's okay. He's gonna take one of my boys away, and I don't even know your name. Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, ma'am. I'd like one, thank you. Here you Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a Paul like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a Paul. It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Well, all right, I shot him, but I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare him off. About that Miramal, I just... Figure we could use her. Yeah, I know you did it for me. But you let your own brother. No, I wasn't gonna let him down. I was gonna chase him along behind, behind the trail, you know. And then I was gonna bushwhack him. Don't you believe that? No, Ma. You try to lay the blame on me, huh? You try to lay... Hey. Boys! Hey, boys! Oh, no, let him be! Oh, it's okay. 
He can take one of my boys away, and I don't even know your name. Cartwright, man. Paul Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwright? Yes, sir. That's, that's it. Want a drink? Oh. Yes, sir. I'd like one. Thank you. Here you Paul's a real fine man. Well, we think so. Yeah, you're lucky. You're real lucky to have a Paul like Ben Cartwright. Got them all? No. Every boy ought to have them all. But if he had his choice, I reckon every boy would rather have a Paul. <clears throat> It is real hard raising a couple of wild buffaloes. You know, a boy needs a man to teach him how to hunt and fish and work and ride and be a man instead of an animal. Yeah. Girl, it's different. Ma'am, don't you think oh, I ought to... No, 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 they... That happens all the time. You know, my husband, bless him, he had a real quick temper, just like them, and he had a hard fist and a dry throat, but he never drew a gun on a man in his life, and I sure do hate to see one of my boys starting. You know, maybe it's a good thing that this thing happened now. Make your mistakes when you're young enough to fix them. What happened to him? Well, ma'am, I don't know what the what the penalty is for shooting a man in the well, where he where his person meets the saddle. <laughs> yeah, they wasn't no horse stolen, and, and the shooting was accidental. My little brother said that. So maybe they won't do nothing more than just find him. Well, I just hope it's a little one. We just spent our last four dollars on books. I was, I was hoping that I could teach him how to read. A laugh. Meaner than a couple of wild bulls, those two little boys, as you call them. Well, hey, they might be a little ornery, but uh, they're real good hands. They work real hard, and out on the ranch, they're as quiet as a couple of milk cows. You know, this is a real small town, and they are young, and maybe there isn't too much excitement around here for them. They work for you? Well, that's a hard question. Sometimes I don't know whether they work for me or I work for them. I guess it's a little bit of both. I'm their mother. Mama, I hate to tell you this, but one of your boys is guilty of attempt horse theft and assault with a deadly weapon. Well, you got, uh, you got positive proof that one of my boys did what you say? Well, I ain't got proof positive, but there's lots of circumstantial evidence. Any horses took? No, ma'am. Any money took? No. Anybody got shot? Yeah. Yeah, somebody got shot. My little brother got shot. That's who got shot. Where is he shot? Well, he shot in the... He was shot... where the person meets the saddle. Well, that don't sound too serious to me. Well, how'd you like to get shot in the... Well, ain't your brother all right now? Well, he can't sit down. Well, you know, you look like a real reasonable young man. And on the basis of what you have just told me, mister, you can go shinny up a gum tree. You think I'm going to turn over one of my boys to you or to anybody else? You are wrong. Mister, your case is a bottle short. Uh, Ma'am, why don't we let the court decide that? Strange court in a strange town. But the judge scratching the sheriff's back and the sheriff scratching the judge's back. They're both up for election and the local people are breathing down their necks. Man, would have a fine chance in a court like that. Besides, in my opinion, just ain't much of a crime. My boys are young and they're feisty and they're a little bit rougher than most, but they ain't criminals. The meeting's now adjourned. Ma'am, may I just suggest that they they try to clear themselves? Is your brother a young fella? Yes, sir. 
He's got lots of time to sit down. Freddy, you seen my gun? Here. Ah, very good. Thanks. Welcome. I reckon this is Charlie, huh? That's Charlie. Well, maybe he just don't know me. Neither do we. Yeah, the name's Cartwright. Horse Cartwright. Ponderosa Cartwrights? That's right. Maybe wrong. What you doing on our patch of land? I'm uh, looking for a fellow by the name of Reichman. Well, I can open, fellas. Which Reichman? Just Jay Reichman's all I know. You a friend of his? No, uh, as a matter of fact, I ain't never seen him. I'm, I'm a special deputy. I just want to ask him some questions. Aiming to arrest him? Well, that, that sort of depends. So, uh, you don't know Reichman, huh? No, I ain't got much of a description of him, neither. Well, <laughs> maybe we can uh, help him out, huh, boys? I'd appreciate that. Well, Reichman has got two heads, each one of them meaner than the other one, got four arms that move like sidewinders and four legs that stomp like mules. Uses a wagon tongue for a toothpick and he can shoot a bumblebee in a behind at 400 yards. Just a ordinary sort of fellow then, huh? Might say that. You've been a big help. Thanks. Welcome. Beer. No beer. Milk. No milk. Water. No charge. Thanks. Welcome. Up in the hills, we got a lot of wild hogs. Wild hogs got big noses. Sometimes they put their noses in the wrong place. And when they do, they get bit. I can see that news travels fast around here. Well, especially bad news. Meaning what? Meaning, don't be a hog. 